but more action then coming from Division 2, and it is Hansi Pass making a good run there. No, it's not, I do beg your pardon. That was uh, in second place, Stephen Palmer. That is the bi-turbo of Bank Vickland who's gone into the lead. Bank Vickland leads, but not for much longer. Stephen Palmer coming through to challenge. They are side by side and exit Steve Palmer. Steve spinning off with the car glass dynamics car onto the infield, and now it's Guy Williams surely coming up to challenge the bi-turbo of the Swede. In third place is indeed Hans de Pass from the Netherlands. Those three cars well clear now. So it's Sweden and it's the Dagfin Larsen prepared by Turbo. V6 engine in the 6R4 of the determined little Swede. Beck Vickland leading from Newboy here in the UK. Guy Williams, there goes Jos Sturkins through with the 4x4 Turbo Fiesta. But up front, it's all Guy Williams putting pressure on the Beck Vickland. And Guy giving away a lot of brake horsepower to the Swedish driver. But this young man, expert across rider, and has come fine form into the British scene now, jumping straight from Formula C, where he was very quick for the Fiesta, into the Division 2 category here, and as I said, making noises of a full European Championship encounter in 1992. That's going to be a, a really good run, I feel, for Guy Williamson indeed. He's having a good run here at the moment. The Century Plant car, though, cocking its heels over. Mads Bank and very lucky not to get contact there with the chicane but the young lad from Cranley and Surrey recovering very very quickly indeed but it's uh, given Beck Fickland now a fairly comfortable advantage up front. So Beck Fickland it is, left hand drive, 6R4 through the devil's elbow. Guy Williams in hot pursuit trying to recover from that moment in that still very slippery paddock bend. Tire choice has been very, very critical in these second qualifying heats because, as you can see, the tarmac is indeed very dry as we watch the recovering Steve Palmer there coming up to get past the Belgian driver Jos Sturkins with the 4x4 Turbo Fiesta. And Jos, who's had a lot of engine problems with that car, telling me he's moving over to a Jeff Page East Coast racing engine for 1992. But there goes troubles for our leader. Oh, and Guy Williams just touching the front as he goes past. But Guy Williams goes into the lead. Guy Williams now leading the bodywork. You can see flailing on the car. And Guy coming out. Oh, drops in the bank. Oh, and Guy Williams in trouble. And he's knocked the wheel off. You can see one of Guy's wheels going over the line. Uh, but I think Guy himself had indeed crossed the finish line first. And Guy Williams, we see a replay of it, nudging the end of the tyre wall, hits the bank, and there obligingly the marshal shows him the chequered flag, 